Hey guys, this is Paul here at Blue Barn Farm. This is our first video. I just thought I would take you guys around our one acre permaculture farm here and show you everything that we've gotten done so far. If you look right here, we have our blackberry and raspberry beds in patch along with cut roses. And here's our bus. This is our dream and our goal here. It's a 40 foot long Thomas prison bus actually that we're gonna convert into a market and have like a mobile farmer's market. We think it's an awesome idea. And if you want, support us on GoFundMe. I'll have a link in the description and in our bio for that. More cut roses here. As we come around the corner here, you'll notice we have musket eyes and scuppernongs planted along our front walk. The leaves are all falling off and changing right now, but it is the middle of November. And as we come around here, this is our front entry to our home where we have a lot of perennials planted like lantana, cut roses, hydrangea. Right here is our front moss flower garden. Everything in this bed is perennials as well. We have blue hydrangea, garlic, sedum, all kinds of stuff, ferns, a lot of different things planted in this bed. Along with our little pond there. As we round the corner from our front steps, we come up to our official entry here, the Blue Barn Farm. And this is our grape trellis. I just installed this about two months ago. And on this trellis, we are going to have both purple grapes and green grapes. Can't remember the kind off the top of my head right this minute, but I'll let you guys know what those are later. As we come around the corner here, these are gonna be our no dig, no till market garden beds here. And this portion is gonna be set aside for all of our cut flowers to make wonderful bouquets to sell at the market. We have a couple dwarf mulberry bushes planted right here. And as we round the corner, start towards the back of our property. To the left here is going to be the future site of our reclaimed window greenhouse. We have all the windows ready to go. We just have to find the time to actually build it. Coming around the corner here, these are more market garden beds. This is going to be for mainly vegetable production. Now, as we get to the top of the hill and go around the back of the tool shed come to where we're going to be putting our farmer's friend caterpillar tunnel it's going to be the 50 foot gothic style this will mainly be used for tomatoes basil peppers eggplant all that type of stuff and as we go back down around the corner just bear with me Another look at uh, the market garden beds for the cut flower production. And 
I'm telling you, I have probably moved 2,000 wheelbarrows worth of mulch so far, just for our one acre property. As we come around the front here, this is the shaded area of our yard and of the farm. So in these beds, we're gonna be doing things like herbs. We're also gonna be doing kills, lettuces, leafy greens. And all of our beds are either 40, 40 foot or 30 foot. We don't have room to put the standard 50 foot beds. Out front here is our orchard area where we have peach trees, figs, apples. We also have more cut roses, flowers, perennials. And on this side of the farm, this is where we have our blueberry patch here. Right now we have 20 blueberry bushes. We plan on adding about 12 more. Some of these are so tiny and so new that you can barely see them in the video, but they are there. And as we round out our little first tour here, this area is what I've been working on the past couple days. This, this is going to be for more vegetable production here. All standard 30 inch beds. Ours are 40 feet long though. And as we pan around here, you'll see more of our fruit tree orchard. And all these are relatively new. Put these in within the past couple years and even this year but we're hoping in within the next few years we'll be getting nice production off of all these trees all right and i'm going to give you one final look just sort of of the whole little front side of the farm and of the farmhouse And we hope you enjoyed our little first tour here. Be sure to like and follow us on Instagram at Blue Barn Farm GA. And if you want to support us, make sure you follow the link in our description, in our bio and help us get towards that goal of opening up that mobile farmer's market that I was talking about. Well, thank you very much, guys. Keep in touch. We'll have more and more videos coming soon. But for now, bye-bye.